Do you have a question you'd like answered? Let's go ahead and consult the tarot. Hello Crow Coven and welcome back to our channel. I'm Nyx from Crowmates Apothecary and in today's video I'm going to be answering your yes or no questions. As always, if this video resonates with you, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the Crow Coven so you won't miss your next insightful reading just like this one. Also, if you're looking to support the channel more directly, you can visit crowmatesapothecary.com where we create our homemade self-care products. It's also the only place where you can book a private tarot reading with me. So if that's something that you're interested in, again, visit crowmatesapothecary.com for details. And now without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the intro of the cards. So before you choose one of the decks, or if you actually have one in mind before you go into the reading, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to have a yes or no question in mind as you are sitting here and trying to decide which group you'd like to choose and only have that one question. So if you have multiple, feel free to come back to this intro in order to pick your second, third, or fourth question. So starting on the far left side, we have this clear quartz that's going to be representing group one. Pyrite is going to represent group two. Dragon's Blood is representing group three. And Honey Calcite is representing group number four. So if you need to, feel free to pause the video and then meditate on the cards that I have set out before you. But again, remember, just keep that one yes or no question in mind as you make your decision. And when you do, head on down to the description box below and then click on the timestamp that corresponds with the group that you chose and you'll be instantly taken to your reading. And now without further ado, let's get into your reading. Hello group number one and welcome to your reading. So in today's video, we are doing a timeless yes or no pick a card reading. And what I'd like you to do is whatever question you had in mind during the intro, I'd like you to keep that in your mind at the forefront of your mind so I can really pick up on that energy and you can kind of reinstate to yourself exactly what it is that you're thinking about. We don't want your mind wandering because if you have multiple questions after this video, you can go back to the intro and then ask your second, third, fourth, <laughs> however many that you have. So before we get into this, I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to instead roll this Astro Dice a couple of times. We're gonna see if I can either pull out your zodiac sign or if your question is about a certain person or people, we're gonna see if that can kind of coincide with it. And also it may coincide with a season. So say um, you're like, when is this going to happen? Say we roll Gemini, it might happen in May or June because that is Gemini season. So let's go ahead and roll this. The first one we have coming out is Leo. Next we have Scorpio. And lastly, we are seeing Scorpio again. So very strong Scorpio vibes in this reading. And now let's go ahead and get into the tarot portion. So you guys chose this clear crystal quartz to represent you. Let me just show it off. This can hopefully give you a very amplified and clear decision as to what is going on with your question as well, because of course that's what the Crystal Quartz does for us. And let's get right into the tarot portion. So for group one, please, Spirit, for the yes or no question, can we please get some clarity? Firstly, we are seeing the Ten of Cups. We have the Lovers in the reverse position. The Seven of Swords. I'm going to do one more. I was thinking three, but I want, I'm feeling the pull. And then the Four of Swords in the reverse position. Okay, so overall, this does look very positive to me. I'm going to go with, 
I would say this is a yes, but I, I, I say it kind of with a little bit of hesitation in the sense of, um, I feel like you're going to be going through something that might, it almost will feel like a false start with this, or you may have something that you have to sacrifice um, in order to get what you want, if that makes any sense. Um, I feel like this weighs on both your emotions as well as your mind because we are seeing the cups, we're seeing the lovers, especially one that is reversed, so it's uh, very internal feeling emotions to me, along with the two sets of swords here, which very clearly indicates something to do with your mental state. So I feel like this is something that is affecting your inner world more so than... Um, like the greater good or anything like that. It feels very much like this is something that you are keeping close to you. Again, I still feel like this is a yes. This very clear indicator here with the Ten of Cups gives us this feeling of like harmony and um, alignment within yourself. This can even be a marriage sort of card because it has to do with the happiness of the home but then it directly being correlated with the lovers reversed does kind of give those mixed messages there because you're like wait a minute how am I not aligned with this person that I'm with or um how can there be a marrying within oneself if I feel there's alignment and then out of alignment essentially is what um, the lovers reverse can mean. So I think there is this overall strength that you have that you are going to tap into that's going to help you through this. Again, I, I do think though that you have to kind of put in the work. That's almost the overall feeling that I'm getting and message that I'm getting is that um, it's not handed to you kind of thing. And because of this, it may seem like a struggle. It may seem like you want to give up at points. Um, and it may feel almost like someone's holding something against you, especially with this card here. This one talks a lot about um, being like someone getting away with something or being deceived kind of thing. And this could be you deceiving your own mind you could again like almost giving up because you think you're not going to reach your end goal um there's something to be said as well with this showing a clear signs of um another person being involved with the lovers especially with it in reverse someone trying to get away with something these interconnecting cups here too i'd say watch out for the people around you so if you're question had to do heavily like you relying heavily on someone or something um get all the information from them and try not to put all your eggs in one basket don't try to fully trust this one person at face value because there is the potential that they're trying to do something sneaky of course you know this person way more than i do so take that as it resonates with you it could just be that there's um, that your mindset is the thing that's holding you back. So for example, say you're worried about whether or not this person that you really, really like is going to like you back kind of thing. And you're wanting to ask them out kind of thing. But then you're sitting there being like, oh, I'm not good enough for them. I don't have enough confidence to ask them out. Like they're, they're so much better than me and stuff like that. And then you kind of talk yourself out of it. Whereas if you would have put yourself out there, you could have had that connection with this person. And this is just self-doubt and um, you not being able to have, again, that confidence to be forward kind of thing. So again, this could be a mindset. This could be another person. Take it as it resonates. And hopefully you can parse that a little bit more. Lastly, though, we're seeing here in the Four of Swords reverse that this is a time for you to really... Um, Pay attention to you going through potential burnout, not giving yourself enough time to rest. Um, and also, there's kind of that overall feeling of you feeling like you're not progressing. So having to put in a lot of faith into um, what it is that you're asking this question for is knowing that yes you are going to be successful but there's going to be obstacles in the way that are going to make you uh really distrust 
that decision that you made. And honestly, that's kind of uh, <laughs> everything in life. It's never, um, here are my goals and here's how I'm going to get to them and I'm going to follow this path perfectly and nothing is going to get in my way and I'm going to somehow magically be able to have everything come to me instantly. That is like not how life ever works. So to me, this is a very realistic um, mindset of, or like reading, where you are determined to do something good for yourself and you want it for yourself, but you just have these sort of blocks, obstacles in your way that are kind of trying to pull your attention away from it. Um, they might be wearing down on your psyche and your mental fortitude, but um, really reinstating to yourself what your goals are and how you uh, navigate this is going to be extremely powerful for you to keep in mind. I think I'm going to pull a couple more cards for you guys as well. Any other messages from here? A lot of it, I believe, is this internal struggle. Again, I kind of talked about that a little bit. I really want to reinstate that for that example that I had where it could have been another person affecting you or your question could be about another person, I am seeing this as way more of an internal thing. So even if it is about another person, you may be almost talking yourself down from something because of your own mindset. So working on your mindset and realizing your worth is going to be extremely helpful during this time. All right, let's pull some more cards for group one, please, spirit. One just flew out. I am going to take, actually two did. So I'm going to take both of these, but I want one more. One more, please, spirit. Okay. So the last three messages that I have for you guys are this rainbow obsidian that says heal your heart. So yeah, dealing with the heart itself not being able to trust your heart. Perhaps you were hurt in the past with something similar and that's why you're seeking this, this guidance on here and realizing that um, you might be going through a similar pain that you felt before. Trying to go through and process your emotions and process your mental state is going to be extremely beneficial. With Red Jasper here, it says take action. So not standing in one place, not allowing yourself to stagnate. Um, doing the thing is also something that I want to get out for you. Um, there are times where we will talk and talk and talk about things that we want to do, and then we never actually take action on it. This is your time to um, put a goal in place and actually follow through with it. That is something that I want you guys to remember. And then lastly, we have Lemurian Quartz, and this says practice patience. And yes, this is very um, beneficial for people who find themselves as impatient, or um, if you've never had to really follow through with a long-term goal that has put obstacles in your way. Uh, for example, like I was saying earlier, life isn't like I'm just going to hand everything to you and it's going to be perfect. There are times where our path can seem so clear and we can have kind of like an ease at it, but that's not really up leveling us. That isn't like it's just kind of coasting and you're staying in your norm. Whereas things that you really, really want, they will usually have obstacles in the way. And so when you are someone who's just kind of like, not even had it easy, I don't want to say that because we've all had <laughs> hard points in our life, but if life has just sort of like happened to you instead of you being the one to take action and really push for what you want, um, you're going to find resistance and you're going to realize that you need a lot of patience in order to see it through to the end. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out too is patience with healing, like we were talking about healing your heart, um, especially if you have a mindset where you're very down on yourself, you have to realize that it's going to take time for you to have a positive view of yourself and your self-confidence. So don't 
think that you just fell off the wagon and like everything's horrible and you're never going to get any better kind of thing. I think that with the Ten of Cups here, again, you are, this is like the happiness card. This is the, like everything's aligned. Everything is in harmony within itself. And I do believe you're going to have that ending. It's just <laughs> tapping into your patience and realizing it's going to take a little bit of time to build up to whatever it is that you have in mind with your question. So anyway, thank you guys so much for getting to the end of your video. This was a very fun one to see and I am very happy to have been able to bring this to you guys. Just keep in mind that you need to tap into your patience take action when needed, and also take this time to heal your heart, heal your inner world before you're able to burst forth with all this color. Anyway, I thank you guys so much for getting to the end of the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hello group number two and welcome to your reading. So in today's video we are doing a timeless yes or no pick a card reading. So what I'd like you to do is from that question that you had in the intro, I'd like to really have you keep that at the forefront of your mind as we get into this reading so I can really tap into that energy and also to make sure that we're getting that clear message. Um, and if you have multiple questions, keep those guys out of here. If you get to the end of this reading and you would like to have another question read, feel free to go back to the intro and then listen to two, three, four, however many that you have. So firstly, I'm going to set aside the tarot and I'm going to pull a few um, like zodiac signs for you guys to see if we can either pick out your zodiac sign or if your question is about a certain person or people that you're collaborating with, we're going to see if we can pull those out. Also, for example, if this is going to happen sometime this year, it might fall into whatever season. So say I pull Gemini, it could happen this May or June kind of thing. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one we are seeing coming out is Libra. Next we have Virgo. And lastly, we have Taurus. So we'll go ahead and set this aside. And you guys chose this pyrite to represent you guys in today's video. So I just wanted to show it off. Look how shiny it is. And pyrite is also known as fool's gold. So it tends to deal with when you are either being deceived or it's one of those situations where like... You're like, is this too good to be true kind of thing? So that may be kind of the theme of the question that you have. It might feel like you're trying to parse whether or not this is something that is too good to be true for you guys. Let's go ahead and get into the tarot portion now. Spirit, can we please get some information for group two for their question? Can we get some clarity for the yes or no question. The first one is the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse position. The Star. The Eight of Wands in the reverse position. this card was backwards in my deck. I'm going to reveal it now. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead. So this one here is the two of pentacles. So I'm going to set this here. Okay, there's a common through line that I am seeing in this card here with almost like a back and forth vibe. Um, we have cards that are indicating almost like stagnation, uh, delay, not feeling like you can progress and move forward with something. But then we also have cards that are showing, one, this level of hope and really believing deeply in something, believing in something so deeply that instead of it being a falsity, you're like, oh no, this is real gold kind of thing. Like you, you're believing really, really intensely in whatever your question is. So the truth of your question and uh, 
solidly uh, it bringing happiness and joy to you. Also bringing prosperity and balance to you as well here with this two of pentacles that we're seeing. So it does feel like you're of two minds. It feels not scattered. It feels kind of like just you don't quite know how to progress with this question in particular. So say um, your question is about money. Pyrite being bulls gold as well does kind of bring about this thought of um, of money to to the forefront of our minds with it being gold. So that combined with the two bookends here of pentacles gives off this feeling almost of say you are trying for a specific job that you have put in tons of applications for and you've been wanting to get noticed but you just feel very stagnant or perhaps um, you're in a job where you just feel stuck and you can't move to a different position in the company that you work for or you have been putting out applications for a different job elsewhere and you're just stuck where you're at. But of course you have that hope to drive you forward to have a better opportunity for you. And there's just no movement. It just really feels like there's something going on that is extremely frustrating to you and you aren't in control of the situation. But in the end here, we do have this upright pentacle that is showing us that there is going to be progress and there is going to be this sort of unity between um, being able to balance your <laughs> boredom and feeling stuck as well as movement and you're going to come back into alignment with yourself. So overall, <sighs> this one's hard. Um, I'm leaning on a maybe <laughs> so there's yes, no, and maybe. I'm leaning on a maybe, but leaning yes on this. It's almost a yes, comma, but <laughs> kind of situation where you are going to see movement in whatever your question was, but it is going to take time. It feels like it's going to take a little bit of time for you to reach this point um, in your life reach the end of whatever this question is before you're able to do anything with it. So let's get into kind of the breakdown of the cards a little bit. I know I talked a little bit about them. They were just like really calling to me. But a few things I wanted to bring out is that it feels like right now you're just, again, you're feeling stuck. You're feeling bored. You may be meandering. You're not quite sure. Um, you could be a little bit downtrodden on finances right now. And that's what's really like having you kind of feel a little frazzled but again the star here is a very beautiful sign it's what really pushed me toward um having that yes instead of just having this be a maybe kind of thing because with this hope and faith here you are going to eventually see something through to the end because you're going to be guided by this star this brings about the sense of inspiration and renewal as well so if you had a goal in mind that you started to kind of go towards but then you fell off the wagon you didn't want to pay attention to it kind of thing for your question this will put you back on track with that and the reason why i'm saying that is because i also got pulled to the colors that are in these cards here with us seeing the rainbow appear in the star card following through with this stuck card here of the five or sorry the eight of wands in reverse and then seeing it through to this balance in the two of pentacles it feels like despite you having to go through a little bit more where it feels like you're gonna be stuck in the end you're gonna see it through to the end you're gonna see how it works in your life um so really keeping that faith is going to help you during this time Again, that stuck nature. Um, this might not be the time for it because we're seeing this is like a holding off kind of card. Um, this card, when it's upright, it is the fastest moving card in the deck. So when this happens, it's like strike now. Whereas when it's reversed, you're going to see that you either purposefully have to hold off because of something else needing to fall into place in your life 
or external forces are going to keep this from fruition, from coming to you in a timely fashion. But lastly, again, I wanted to point out that it will happen. And also with this Two of Pentacles showing the balance, showing that you need to be adaptable to certain situations, prioritize the right things, and also realize um, that it is going to take time. We have this infinity symbol here. So it's like you have all the time in the world to get this right kind of thing. So do it right the first time and you won't have to stress about this happening to you again. I'm going to pull a couple more cards for you guys as well, group two. So we're going with maybe leaning yes. I just think you have to uh, employ a little bit of patience and allow it to happen naturally is something that I really want you guys to take away with this reading. Trust in the process. So the first card that I have coming out for you is Unikite, and it says live in the now. So instead of worrying about the future, what the future may hold, how fast it's going to happen, um, when, 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 when will it come to me, try to see the things that you are laying down right now and allow those things to manifest again naturally. Try to focus on the now instead of um, what's going to happen in the future, when is it going to happen kind of thing. Try to, I know it's so hard, but try to let that go. <laughs> I've been there, believe me. <laughs> Next we have, I do not know how to, how to uh, <laughs> even pronounce this. Uh, Chrysocola, <laughs> I'm going to try. Um, it says, start fresh. So, um, Allowing yourself to start fresh is a message that I really want you to hear. There's some people that they will put their all into something and they will just hammer forth on that one thing. And they'll think that because they put so much time and energy into something that they have to keep going with this one outcome, this one thing. And that might not be working for you. That might be what is holding you back and, and causing all of this frustration and delay. So you might have to go back to the drawing board and kind of really tap into that faith aspect. You might have to believe in something you can't see um, in order to get it to work, which can be very hard. This does kind of... Um, the star comes directly before the moon card. So it's kind of... Um, the beginning of having that uh, inspiration and that want and that faith and it really gives me like that starry eye vibe kind of thing like oh this is this is going to be exciting and then the moon comes in and brings about all of the illusions and fear and anxiety <laughs> right after so knowing you're going to have to delve into the unknown can be scary for you but I think that being able to pull back and see the things that you need to start fresh on will really help. Having a, almost like a clean slate. Can we get one more message, please, Spirit for group two? Okay, I can, I can pronounce this one. Great. This one is <laughs> Lemurian Quartz, and this one says practice patience. So I talked about that a little bit earlier in this reading was that um, there's a need for you to, again, live in the now. Um, and because of the stuck nature, if you are feeling very impatient for the resolution of this question, it's almost going to be out of, out of your reach because it's going to, it's going to know, it knows that you are wanting it so badly. So having to really draw back and realign yourself Balance yourself is going to be extremely helpful during this time. Sorry, I'm going to mess with my lighting because I hate that glare on that card. Um, but yeah, you are going to realize that the, the thing, the ob object of your desire kind of thing is going to stay out of your hands until you can really ground yourself and tap back into you as a 
being at this present moment because sometimes we can get really distracted with the uh, the future we can get distracted with our ideal selves and what we want from ourselves and we while we do want to be actively pursuing that we forget to think about ourselves in the now and that can sometimes really pull from the lessons that we're supposed to be learning and the things we're supposed to be experiencing at this time. So overall, this was a very fun reading. I'm sorry it wasn't super clear. Again, you guys have to go through a little bit before you reach this final ending. However, I really do see a positive ending for you guys. So just keep that in mind. Obviously, take what resonates and leave behind what it doesn't. And I hope I see you guys in the next video. Hello group number three and welcome to your reading. So in today's video we are doing a timeless yes or no pick a card reading. So what I want you to do is I really want you to keep that question that you clicked this video with or at the beginning the intro of this video. I want you to keep that in mind so we can really tap into that energy and get very clear results for you guys. And if you have any other questions toss those out and <laughs> don't think about those at all right now. Only think about that one yes or no question. If you get to the end of this video and you have more questions, feel free to jump back over to the intro and then pick either two, three, four, however many that you want to explore. So before we get into the tarot portion, I'm going to set this aside and we're going to instead focus on this astro dice first and foremost. We're going to see if we can pull out your zodiac sign, um, if your question is about a person or people that you may be working with, collaborating with, we may pull out their zodiac signs or even um, seasons as to when this may come to fruition. So say I pull Gemini, it may happen this May or even June. So let's go ahead and roll the Astro Dice. The first one we are seeing coming out is Sagittarius. Next, we have Gemini coming out. And lastly, we have Libra. Libra has been kind of like a focal point for all of the groups. Libra has been in all of them. So I think balance is also a very important message to take for all of you. And you're the only one that gets to know that because I didn't know <laughs> for the other groups. So let's go ahead and get into your tarot portion. If you guys chose this here, Dragon's Blood, to represent you guys, I'm going to go ahead and show this off. Dragon's Blood can really be beneficial when you need to have the courage and confidence to do something, as well as healing um, wounds, especially emotional wounds too. So that may be something that can kind of help you parse out today's reading. Spirit, can we please get an answer to group three's yes or no question? Can we get some clarity? The first one we have coming out is the Five of Swords. Next we have the Three of Wands. The Two of Wands. And lastly, we have the... Um, the nine of swords in the reverse position. Okay, so my th initial thoughts that I want to share with you guys on this is going to be that this seems like it has to do with a lot of mental chaos that is going on right now, um, as well as uh, it, it kind of feels wrapped up in a sort of creative, um, almost like manifesting kind of situation. And so what I mean by that is, take this for example, um, you want to make a decision on a certain creative project or outlet. Perhaps you want to focus on something that has to do with collaboration with people a person or people and you all are kind of fighting because you're not uh unified and charging ahead with 
one clear goal in mind. And so that is creating a lot of chaos and a lot of torment and pain. Um, for you guys, you, you're the first group that I am honestly feeling a no from. Um, and the reason that I am getting this no so clearly is simply because of these two end cards here are very violent in their imagery and it almost feels like you need to get away from this situation. So what I mean by this is there is this, there's just so much cool imagery here. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like getting really excited. <laughs> so even though it's a no, um, this feels very interesting and like you still have the ability to do something with this um but it almost feels like you have to cut your losses and leave if that makes sense if that works for your situation if that works for your question um there's a lot of creativity we're seeing this bright vibrant rainbow appear on the entirety of this card and then on the inside of this card so it feels like within as well as out you are a very creative person but again you are just it feels like you are bogged down by something let's go card by card so you can kind of understand my mindset and why i'm feeling this way because i can it can be painful to hear something so harshly like no um but I think it's because you have a different opportunity that's lying for you like out there in the world that needs you and you're honestly being held back by someone or something. We're seeing that because this Five of Swords talks about conflict. It talks about defeat and loss. So that's where I'm getting that strong no. Um, and it feels like there's a betrayal happening. It feels like somebody is like either trying to stab you in the back or they're trying to sabotage a project or something and it gives off this feeling of them trying to do anything and everything in order to make something work but it's to the detriment kind of thing um the three of wands is this card talking about um it can talk about uh working with multiple people but in a way where um it feels almost like simply because like these wands are connected is the feeling that I'm getting for it. It isn't the most collaborative card in the deck, um, but it does talk about this feeling of being able to expand and um, really being able to like capitalize on something when it involves people. But again, it feels like you're all going in different directions kind of thing. And because of that, it's it's simply not working. Um, but I feel like this card really talks a, a lot about also having like future planning ideas and being prepared for something. So I think that this reading can really help you gain clarity and prepare for this breakdown of whatever is going on with people and really point you in the right direction. The Two of Wands talks about future planning and progress and actually discovering something for yourself. But again, it's so bookended by these negative cards that I feel like this is almost like a warning to you guys. You're seeing this, you're seeing the tension and the conflict and the torment, and you're like, okay, so what do I do about it kind of thing. How do I make this work for myself? It's almost like you being very opportunistic with this, but not in a bad way. You're you're going, okay, how do I reverse this and make it work for me kind of thing? You're not like, you don't feel like you're laying down and just taking like this like crap kind of thing. It's like you are like getting on your feet and running away from, from this so you can benefit yourself, which is great. Um, obviously, if you're doing it in a malicious way, it isn't great. If you're the person doing this, don't. <laughs> I don't get that feeling at all. I feel like something is happening outside of your control and you're trying to rein it back in. Lastly, here with this Knight of Swords reversed, again, this very much talks about like, this feels like you, you can't do anything more. It feels hopeless and you are very upset about this. And there's a lot of torment that is coming from this as well. So 
it feels like while you wish this could have worked for you guys, you're like, I'm ready to just throw my hands up and, and go kind of thing. Listen, I am so interested in this one. This one might go a little bit longer than the other groups because I'm very curious as to what's happening here. So I would love some clarity. Can we get some cards to clarify what's going on with group three in their situation? Can we get some advice for group three? I don't want to just leave you guys twisting in the wind. Yeah, there's some sort of painful like betrayal or something that is happening that's going on right now and it's affecting your your mental state the three of swords um this card like when it's upright this is like very much like sorrow and heartbreak and like painful rejection when it's reversed you're kind of choosing instead to heal from this you're trying to release this pain and you're trying to let go um of something that could have been. And so I'm getting this feeling that for some of you, it might be that you need to almost forgive what happened in this situation in order to let go and move on. Um, but again, it, it feels, it still feels like a separation. It doesn't feel like you're, you're staying is the, the overall vibe that I'm getting from this. And also this brings about a sense of optimism because you're, you're seeing what happened and you're trying to make a decision that's going to benefit you. And you're kind of optimistic about being like, okay, I learned my lesson. I don't need to deal with this crap anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and do something different and I'm gonna do something that's better for me. We have also the Page of Swords in the reverse position which talks about, um, this is a, this card is literally the like all talk and no action card. This is, you were promised something and no one made good on it. Um, and it also could have been very quick. It could have been that you were promised like an awesome like job or you were promised a loving relationship and you guys jumped into it and then nothing good came about it and you have this like heartbreak now afterwards kind of thing and you're just feeling like okay well glad I learned this quickly and now I'm out of here <laughs> kind of thing lastly we have the chariot reverse so this one talks about you being stagnant and feeling out of control because there's, you aren't able to be the person who has the reins. You're, so you're kind of at someone else's mercy here. And it can come across as, again, feeling out of control. And also there can be a lot of aggression, which we are seeing in this Five of Swords and this pretty violent Nine of Swords reverse. We're seeing that you, um, are in control and that someone else is really driving this and you're seeing it and you're going okay bye <laughs> like, that's the overall feeling I'm getting for you guys so if I mean hey this might be a yes for you this might be a hey should I break up with this person and these are the signs this might be a yeah <laughs> get the hell out of there um but if you worded it in a way that was like, is it going to work with this person? It could be a no. So take take that as it resonates with you. Overall, it feels like you are trying to get away, break away, and do something on your own. Whether this is a collaborative effort with people or if this is a relationship with a person. It feels like you understand the signs and you're like, I need to get out of here to preserve myself and my sanity and the things that are going to make my life better and I can focus on my future. So whatever way <laughs> you phrased it is the way that uh, that answer is going to go. Overall though, I'm feeling no for everybody. So I'm gonna pull last two. This one here is Epidote, Epidote, and it says go deeper. So really dig into, uh, don't see everything at surface level if someone's trying to feed you a line or if they're trying to manipulate you into staying. Um, dig into your inner self and really trust yourself because I think that is what has led you to uh, 
making this almost decision on your own and realization on your own. Tapping into your mental state as well because we're seeing so many swords as to deal with your mental state. Um, really delving into how it is that you feel about a situation and how you are processing something is also going to be beneficial for you at this time. One last message for group three, please, Spirit. We also have this ocean jasper coming out and it says schedule yourself in so make time for you um if you're somebody who's kind of like a people pleaser or you tend to give yourself to other people way more than you are able to focus on you what you want um this is now the time to do that because it feels very much like, again, it's out of your control. It feels like other people are kind of running the show and you haven't been able to focus on you. And so I feel like this is very important for you to know during this time, whatever this has to do with when it comes to your question. I think that you focusing on yourself and making time for yourself is going to be very important. So thank you guys so much for getting to the end of your reading. I'm sorry if this was a disappointing uh, bit of advice that you needed to hear. But again, take what resonates with you. Um, and of course, with tarot, this is always, this is again, just advice. So you have the free will to make the decisions that you want to make. And you can do anything that you want. Hopefully this was just here to help you with whatever decision you wish to make. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Hello group four and welcome to your reading. So in today's video we are doing a timeless yes or no pick a card reading. So what I'd like you to do is really keep that question that you chose when clicking this video or during the intro at the forefront of your mind so it can really tap into your energy and get the most clear um, messages possible to you guys. And if you had multiple questions, get rid of those <laughs> right now. Just push them aside. And after you've finished watching this one, feel free to go back to the intro and go ahead and pick your second, third, fourth question, however many that you have. So before we get into the tarot portion, I'm just going to set that aside. And I'm going to roll this Aster Dice that we have here. So we're going to see if we can pull out your zodiac sign, or if your question happens to be about a person or people, we're going to see if we can pull out theirs. Or this could even indicate kind of when this question is going to see its way through. So kind of time frame wise, if I were to pull Gemini, maybe this question would be fulfilled in this May or June. So let's go ahead and pull a few zodiac signs. The first one we have is Libra, and this is so funny. Every single <laughs> group had Libra. So I really do feel like um, your cards that are coming through are going to be talking a bit about balance, balancing yourself, righting some sort of karmic wrong. That has been kind of a theme that I've seen. Next we have Virgo. And lastly, we have Sagittarius as well. So I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. And for today's reading, you guys chose this honey calcite to represent yourselves. I'm going to show it off a little bit. And this honey calcite really is kind of like a stone that helps with fostering confidence within oneself. And it can really help to amplify certain things. So... Um, you needing to amplify your confidence in order to get that job offer kind of thing might be something going on. It does talk about motivation and support as well. So let's go ahead and get into the tarot portion. For group four, can we get an answer to the yes or no question? Can we get clarity? First card we're seeing is the Ten of Cups in the reverse position. Then we are seeing the Knight of Wands in the reverse position.
Next we have the Nine of Pentacles. And last we have the moon in the reverse position. This is very uh, clear cut to me as to what is going on. Um, the overall feeling that I'm getting for you guys is that you're kind of being, you're kind of being led astray. You feel almost like you want for something so badly, but there hasn't been a lot of, um, I'm trying to think how to word this. Th there's been kind of like this feeling of you like gripping and holding on to something for dear life and, and making sure that this works, um, that this is going to be the thing that finally gives you that happiness that you're seeking. And overall, the feeling that I'm getting is that there is a need for you guys to tamper almost your expectations for what is happening in order to bring about a betterment within yourself. And that sounds wild, so I'm gonna go ahead and explain <laughs> why the heck that like came out. Overall, um, right now, currently, it feels kind of like your emotions are a little bit all over the place. This can be you not standing by your values. This could be you um, not having your values aligned with another person. And this is normally the broken home or marriage card. So this could be kind of like a breakdown in a relationship, a breakdown in communication. When this card is upright, we're seeing how all of these um, strings are really interconnected. They're going to all of the cups and feeding into all of them equally. But obviously when it's reversed, we're not having that. So there's some breakdown in communication. And especially when it comes to matters of um, the heart and like emotions, there's something going on where someone isn't registering emotions on the same level as you. And because of this, we are seeing here this Knight of Wands reverse, which does talk about a lot of scattered energy, people feeling frustrated. There's a lot of delays that are going on with this. And I personally am taking this reading as there, it feels like this is an inner problem that is now affecting the outside world. So when we aren't feeling aligned with our within ourselves, when we're feeling like we are like running around super scattered kind of thing and we're feeling very frustrated with ourselves, then that starts to affect those around us. They start seeing and noticing them. And unfortunately, this reading is kind of giving me an almost like a maybe vibe. Um, this is even maybe leaning no. And why I'm feeling that so deeply is it feels like you have to really take the time to look deep within yourself and allow yourself to either um, release some sort of fear that you have or to really register what has been happening with you and where you have allowed something to go too far. And that's talking a little bit about the moon reversed here. Um, I do want to highlight, however, before we get too far into that, I want to highlight this nine of pentacles here because this talks about you being able to um, really have some sort of self-sufficiency and also to be grateful for where you are right now. Obviously with it being pentacles, it can also talk about having the money to be able to do <laughs> certain things in your life that maybe you haven't been able to before, but I really want to hone in on that self-sufficiency point. Um, if this feels within, this feels very, very much like you have to do some inner work. Um, and so that ties into the moon reversed here with um, you needing to release some sort of fear of the unknown 
you needing to release fear from your past, there's something that is deeply affecting you and that is messing with your emotions. It's messing with your ability to manifest in progress and plan. And it's also, you may be fine with, with your money, but it almost feels like you're not able to see these parts of you because you're so focused on this part of you, if that makes any sense. Um, the moon reverse can also talk about confusion and unhappiness. You don't want to be in the situation that you're in. And that's why overall I am getting that maybe leaning no, but you can change it. This really feels like a time where you need to kind of take your life into your own hands and really push yourself in order to um, really progress forward. I'm curious, so I'm going to pull a couple more cards for you. It might make your <laughs> reading go a little bit longer, but I really want to see. Can we get some advice for group four, please, Spirit? We have the Nine of Cups coming out, and this card talks about you having your wishes be fulfilled, having comfort and happiness and being satisfied in the end. So my thoughts on this here is that if this is maybe leaning no, I don't know how you worded your question, but this could have been something where, say, you're like, will I get this new job? Like, let's just pull that out there. Um, it could be that you don't end up getting the job, but it still ends up leading to some form of happiness, especially emotional happiness, because maybe you didn't realize it, but the job is going to be extremely hard. And the person who um, is your supervisor is going to make your life a living hell if you do end up working there. And you're going to be far more happy without it kind of thing. So that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting is like, it's almost like a blessing in disguise kind of thing. It's like, you may not want to hear no, but overall it's going to be for the betterment of yourself. The other way I'm taking this too, is that you are going to succeed in this need for you to look within yourself and really release pain. You're going to succeed in releasing that pain and you will eventually come to a level of happiness. So I, this is kind of like a almost like a two for one kind of thing, it, it, especially depending on what question you asked. You might not have been <laughs> wanting to get uh, tarot calling you out for not looking within yourself. Unfortunately, tarot likes to do that a lot, <laughs> um, especially to people who do tend to avoid their emotions and try to avoid um, processing things that have happened to, to them. But overall, I do feel like in the end, whatever way, this comes about, it is going to lead to some form of happiness for you. Let's go ahead and pull a couple more cards for you, group four. Spirit, can we get some messages for group four? seeing phantom courts with embrace change yes yes we we want to we want to change the moon um when you are sitting in it does constantly bring this feeling of anxiety and um fears dealing with your subconscious and so you having to force yourself to embrace the changes in your life is going to put you on the right path. Perhaps um, this could even be like, for example, your question was something like, should I stay in my hometown instead of um, going abroad or instead of uh, taking on a university that's out of state? And this could be a no because it wants you to embrace that change, to go forward with that move. There's some sort of like need to really shake up how you've been dealing with life so far in order to see this success. We also have Ocean Jasper. 
which says schedule yourself in. So you need to, again, this feels very internal. This feels very much like you need to focus on yourself instead of other people. Because again, I feel like whatever's been going on recently, it has affected other people and you have to kind of hone it in and really look within, look into yourself, see the things that you need to change in order to really progress and make good movement. Because we all make movement. <laughs> Even if we're stagnant, we're making movement. It's just not uh, progressing <laughs> movement. It's staying the same and being stuck in that one mindset for however many weeks, months, years that we do. And so if you're able to take the time to really schedule yourself in, you're able to take that time to process your emotions and embrace the changes that are coming to you kind of thing, we are going to see a level of success for you. So again, the short answer is no, <laughs> uh, maybe leaning no. However, if you put in the work and put in the energy within yourself, you can transform that no into whatever is going to bring you happiness. Again, it could be the, a no that's trying to cause you to avoid whatever this thing is that you might want. And that's for good reason because you don't understand. I just recognize the fact that there's a moon here too on, the, on these cards. So embracing that unknown, really pushing past your fears is what's going to bring you this overall level of happiness that's going to be more than you have currently and more than you can realize because this card is one that talks about um, this like your wishes being fulfilled so everything that you could want is out there for you it's just about embracing that change I know I keep repeating things I just want to make sure that you guys absolutely get this message hammered in because it makes it feel a little somber in the moment but I think overall it's going to be very beneficial to you so anyway thank you guys so much for getting to the end of your reading I hope you enjoyed it I liked bringing this message to you guys and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one